Hello guys, once again welcome back to Darkpool VFX Studio. In this video we are talking about how to use camera tracker and create a simple VFX by using DaVinci Resolve Fusion. First up, create a new timeline, then add your video from media pool to track one of your timeline. Cut and remove the unwanted part, then go to Fusion. Here you get a media input and a media output. Now we need to track the entire video. For that. Click on media in. Now use the tool menu by clicking shift space and search here camera. Now select the option camera tracker and add it. Click on the camera tracker and go to inspector. Here we can see an option track. Inside the track we can use the option auto track. Click that. Now you can see the camera is tracked in their video. After that go to the solve section. Click that. Here we can see an option solve. Click that. It will take some more times. Be patient and wait. In this case, we get a lot of errors. Actually, the error should be less than 1. So, we need to reduce the minimum track error. I think 0.13 is enough. Now, we can delete the error points by clicking this. Now, we need to solve one more time. Click that and solve. Now we get a value of 0.77 that is less than 1. So the error chance is less than 1. Here you can see a red point, green point, yellow point, orange point. The red is error and the green is perfect. Others are the middle points of red and green. Now go to the inspector and go to export. Here we need to select some points to export. I think these points are good. I select this area. The reason is because I feel like adding that tiger here. Okay. Now back to export and go to 3D scene transform. Click that. Here you can choose the option unaligned. After that you get a new option set from selection. Click that. After clicking this you can see the value is changed. Now you can back to aligned. Now we can click the button export. After exporting you get more nodes like camera 3D, point cloud 3D, ground plane, merge 3D, camera tracker etc. Here we don't need the ground plane and the point 3D. So we can select these two and delete. Now we can arrange it like this and we don't need the camera tracker anymore. So we can click and hold the shift key then Disconnect it from our graph. After that we can disconnect the pipeline from media output. Now we can connect the camera tracker to media out. Now we get a notary like this. Here we can see a media in, camera 3D, merge 3D, camera tracker renderer and the media out. The camera tracker should be removed from this timeline and place it outside. Now the time for adding our VFX video to our scene. So I added a green screen tiger footage from my folder and drag it to workflow. Here we can see the video is look like this. Now click on the media and use the shortcut shift space for tool menu. Here I can search image plane 3D. Click the image plane 3D then add it. Because you can't connect the media directly to the merge 3D. So I added the media plane 3D. Now connect a pipeline from media plane 3D to the merge 3D. After that I need to arrange this video. Uh, not like this. I like the tiger is sitting here. So I am going to open the keyframe option by clicking here. After that click this point. After clicking this, you can see the media 2 is here. Now I can arrange the video like this. The video is starting from here 0 to 150. So this cutting is enough. Now I am going to turn off this keyframe. Now I need to remove this green screen. For that click on the green screen media. 
Now use the shortcut shift space. Here we can search Delta Kia. Click that and add. Now go to the inspector. Here we can see eyedropper icon. Click that and hold. Then select the color we want to remove. Release the mouse button on the green part of the video. Now connect the Delta Kia to our viewer or use the shortcut to on keyboard. Now you can see the green screen is removed. Click on the image plane 3D and use the shortcut shift space. Here we can search transform and select the option transform 3D. Add that. After that we can connect the media output to viewer or you can use the shortcut to on keyboard. Now click on the 3D transform and go to inspector. Here we can see the scale option. Increase the scale. In this case, I added a value of 25 manually and click enter. Now go to the transform and arrange the X value like this and the Y value like this. Now click on the delta here and use the shortcut shift space then open the tool menu and search here color character. Now click add. Now we can color correct the tiger by using the gain and the gamma and also use the brightness, lift etc. Now match the tiger color and the background color looking like it's real. After that you can play the video in full screen by clicking P button on edit page. Here you can see the tracking has been done very accurately. Now you can add color grading and other VFX content to make it cool. Click on the camera tracker and open the tool menu by clicking shift space. Here we can search fast. Now click on the fast noise and add. Here we get a new merge and a fast noise node. Click on the fast noise and go to inspector. Here we can change the details to 0.7. After that go to the C thread and add the value 0.25. Now we can play the video is look like this. Now click on the merge and go to inspector. Reduce the blend value like this. If you are happy with this value then click on the merge and use the shortcut shift space and open the tool menu. Here we can add one more color note. C O L O R. Color character. Then add. After that go to inspector. Here we can change the range. Set it to master to shadow. Now change the shadow like something like a green color. Then change the shadow to highlight. Change it to blue like this. Okay. After that change the range to master and you can adjust all the values to get a natural look. After that we can play the video it's look like this. If you like this video please like share and subscribe. See you in next time.